a howling eye. Gotta skip the cutscene. There's the music. Okay, Garuda's fight. These pillars are important. You don't want them to be damaged. So, your best option is to come and tank the boss right here. The boss will do some AoE attacks like that. They'll do, um, we're gonna run and do this. You want to hide, put your put one of the pillars between you and the boss and then get right back to where you were. They should not be standing next to the pillars. Okay, kill adds. Can easily be done now. The plumes will blow up the pillars. You need the pillars alive to absorb damage from an AoE that she does in the middle of the fight. If there's too much damage done to the slipstream. When she does slipstream, you can move out of the way and then move back. If you don't, you get knocked down. Okay. He'll appear in the middle. He'll send out plumes. Always good to, to go and check. Make sure she's not doing a an AoE damage. To help orient yourself in this place, this is always going to be at the north. Doesn't matter where you stand for this. If those pillars are destroyed, that will wipe the group. But now you need to move into the middle. And that is why. You'll get damaged by that swirling vortex around you. You don't want to stack on each other because of the uh, little wind vortexes that she tosses out. Mistral Song, do not be standing in front of her. Mistral Song is a frontal AoE. This one, I don't think we need to kill the plumes. Move out of Slipstream. Move back. It doesn't hurt to kill them if you come in contact with them. They will explode and deal damage. Depending upon the DPS in your group. But that is how you deal with Garuda. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative. If you want to see more Final Fantasy XIV videos, please like, follow, and subscribe. The usual YouTube stuff. To catch me live, check out my Twitch, link in the description. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.